Okay, so this is the Verifone Commander. What we usually do is we will put a VPN IP sticker on here. That is the IP address that uh, the Verifone, if called, will need to remote into this system. This is essentially the brain of your entire point of sale here. A um, couple things to note on here as well. Uh, that status right here, if that says A9, that's what you're looking for once the uh, commander is fully rebooted up. If it's not A9, it means it's not finished booting up yet. Um, the other thing that indicates that is this display, the green backlit display. Um, what I do with this here is, you can see the upper left says Philips 66, that's the type of software you're running on it. The upper right is the version number, which in this case is 1.16.4, I can't, yeah, 40. Um, lower left is the base version, or the base number, and that's 53.40. And then the lower right, it says system okay, meaning that it is fully booted up, uh, it's done loading, and it's running currently. Um, when you reboot that, it'll come up to this and it'll be blank where it says system okay for a couple minutes and then it'll get about maybe 30 seconds out it'll say please wait before it says system okay so when you get to that please wait it's close um, but the other thing of note here is you see these lights here for a1 a2 a3 there is no a3 but what that relates to, the A1 and A2, if you look on the back, I'm going to swing around here. If you look on the back, these are called NICs, or Network Interface Cards. And you see how you have A1 and A2 that corresponds with those lights. So depending on what you have plugged in back here, in most cases at stores will have a11 and A15, we'll plug those into the FCI box, so that's fuel control. Um, right now, even if you have both cords, we're only using A11 for the fuel side. The DCR side is done differently now. Now, on A2, you see we have this cable here. That goes to our Intevicon box for in-house cards. Um, there's been a few sites that we've had to move that around, so it doesn't necessarily have to be on A27, but we will assign that. That's just kind of the default one that we try to use, just to keep things consistent among stores. Uh, the other thing is, we don't have it here at the test bed, but A22 is typically where we plug in uh, if you have a car wash coda box. So that's where that connection is made, so we can issue codes through the commander and not just through the kiosk and inside of that coda box. Uh, the other ports back here are the A NIC. That is the one that goes to the FortiGate. Uh, that's basically all your credit processing and any cards that you're going to run will usually go through that. Uh, and then over here, there's also, get that cord out of there so I can focus, the N NIC. That connects to the Forta switch. So that's what NIC. Uh, connects your pin pads, your registers, all that kind of stuff to the commander so it can talk back and forth. And then obviously right next to it is your power. Um, there is no power brick because it's inside this commander, so if you ever have to reboot the commander, that's the manual way to do it is by unplugging the back of this right here, just unplugging that. Um, so one other thing here that I want to note is see how we have the A27 plugged in and that's the only one on those eight port NIC cards. If you go to the front and look at these corresponding lights, if we have activity on A27, you'll see that light light up momentarily. We do have something there on A12, which I'm a little confused by because we don't have anything on it, or A11. I think that's because the fuel are assigned the fuel connections are assigned to that, but since this is the test bed, we don't have any fuel dispensers connected, so it's trying to reach out, but there's nothing to reach out to. All right, and that is, oh, one more thing. If I zoom out here, this whole 
plate on the front can be detached just by pulling it off. So you can get in there if you need to. Some sites have this disconnected already. Not a big deal, but just know that that information there, the VPN IP as well as the service ID, which we don't have on this one at the test bed because it's not active. Um, but that's where you get that information if it's needed for Verifone uh, or for possibly Philips or SageNet. So anyway, and that just snaps back on by these little knobs here, right there. And then you can see on the back of this plate, those little metal things snap into those pegs. All right, that is the Verifone Commander.